fields, science, technology, engineering, and math have always had trouble attracting women. A report by the Department of Commerce shows only one in seven engineers are female. And women earn only 20% of the bachelor degrees in the STEM fields. Now, as Del Mar Life's Brian Spiros shows us, a group of cheerleaders is coming to the rescue, challenging stereotypes and inspiring young women to consider science and technology careers. When it comes to scientists, what comes to mind? Smart. <laughs> White lab coat. What about cheerleaders? Hot girls. Ditzy. Can the two ever mix? Two, four, six, eight. What do we appreciate? Science. According to the science cheerleaders, absolutely. The group is made up of 200 former NFL and NBA cheerleaders who also have careers in STEM fields science, technology, engineering, and math. So as soon as you start talking to someone, they realize you're intelligent. They realize that, oh, wow, this person has something more to say than just rah-rah. Ellison Grasso is a former Philadelphia Eagles cheerleader and has degrees in chemistry and biology. I I actually loved science ever since I can remember. She's worked as a research biologist and now makes the rounds with surgeons. I'm in the operating room every day. Aaron Donnelly is working toward a career in clinical psychology. The former St. Louis Rams cheerleader loves helping young girls break stereotypes. While women make up only 24% of those in STEM fields, she's challenging girls to change that. Being in the STEM fields is a neat thing. You know, do what you want to do and especially try it. I mean, there's no reason to not try something. We are One of their biggest projects to date, setting a world record with more than 1,300 Pop Warner cheerleaders for the largest cheering team. They've also partnered with SciStarter.com, where girls can choose from hundreds of science projects to get involved with. Starting young, if we can get people excited about science and have them pursue careers in the STEM um, areas. And that's something worth cheering for. Ketterington University reports women make up 24% of science, technology, engineering, and math jobs, which or math jobs rather, which offer some of the most lucrative careers. Hmm. And the opportunities for women in STEM careers are far and wide. That's why schools across the country and here on Delmarva are working to spark female students' interest in science early. Now, our next guest is department chair and science teacher at Wicomico Middle School, Bettina Postal. So, thank you so much for joining us. Thank today. you very much for having me. All right, let me start from the very beginning. Why do you think more guys gravitate towards science, the tech, that kind of stuff? <laughs> so you want me to, to answer Put me for right in my place. <laughs> oh, oh, man. <laughs> um, for me personally, I think it has a lot to do with your entry-level college courses. Um, when you first start out in college, when you go out there and you go to register, the first thing they ask you as soon as you appear is, what is your major? And they put it out there almost like it's, what is your favorite food? Do you like pizza or do you like chicken? And, and most students in the past were not prepared. And they were like, well, I like chicken. Mm -hmm. right. And then after they start taking their general education classes for about a year or two, they say, well, you know, I, I think I want pizza. So they change their major all of a sudden. I mean, this is a common occurrence when you're going into the college system is, is the, the changing of majors after the first couple of years. And if you look at the different statistics, a lot of people who started out in the science field, they might have started out as a neuroscientist, and after a year of taking general ed courses, they said, well, you know what, I think I'd rather be a chemistry teacher or a chemist or a biologist or something like that. And those general ed courses actually transfer very easily to another science. So 50% of this, the people who start out in one science field change to another one. Hmm. But if you look at engineering, and, and we're talking about, you know, why are there more men in engineering, a lot of the men sign up immediately to take engineering courses, and here's your general ed classes that you take, and they just follow them. If they want to get out, those courses transfer to the other sciences very easily. Ah. But if you're in neuroscience and you want to get into the engineering department, it's completely different. You have to retake physics, chemistry, calculus. Mm -hmm. And a lot of people don't want to do that. Why do I want to go back and, and retake all these really hard courses right. just to get in the engineering department? What are uh, schools doing, specifically in Wicomico County, to change that? 
We have a lot, mm -hmm. um, especially in the past five, 10 years, things have really changed uh, in the past. You know, it was kind of like students were on their own. The teachers taught their curriculum and hopefully you got it and you're good to go. But we realized that we need to get our students ready for college and career and we've got to make some, some changes. Right. And so we have uh, really worked hard in the past five years to differentiate instruction. Right, that's, and that's it's not thing. just in the classroom. There's a lot of uh, groups with the uh, thinking and doing and destination mm -hmm. imagination that you're getting young ladies introduced to. Ab absolutely. It starts in the classroom, though. You know, mm -hmm. we have to look at each one of the students individually and try to determine what are your skills and talents, tell them what they are, and then give them opportunities so that they can actually you know, experience some of the things that they might do in the real world. And so if they start in science class talking about building structures, and we're doing transdisciplinary units in our county now. So you, they go to math class and they work on it there. And then they go to English class and they work on something there. They go to art class. So they're getting this topic through all of their classes. We're building their motivation. We're finding out where their interests are. And then we say, well, guess what? Now we have all these extra programs you can do after school. We also have this club that you can, can join. Maybe it's the robotics club or maybe it's the Lego club or what are, what are some of your interests? So it can be a lucrative field, but it expands them in so many different directions. Right, Just depending on your interests, How something that motivates you. And even during the summer, we don't want it to just stop at school. We want you to take it, you know, past that after school during the summer you know we have some stem, our stem summer camps that they can go to we we get the universities involved and say okay Salisbury University can you bring over some professors that are men and women and some of your graduate students men and women and show our, our, our children in our community hey look this is what we can offer you if you go into science if you go into engineering now aside from just a promising career what can um, a, a stem uh, education background do for young ladies? It's just the base mm -hmm. and from there they can create their own successes so it really helps develop their talents in the school and we help to give them opportunities and say okay in this job here's some of the cool things you could do here's a different job that you can do it builds their self-confidence their leadership skills um, the collaboration where they're working with others and and, and helping um, you know in their strong points mm -hmm. so when we put them in different positions and say you're going to work as a group today all right here's the different jobs who wants to do what it's, it's real world experience. So if you're not good in math, well then I'm not gonna say, okay, you are the person in charge of, of, of the whole economic situation here with this project. Because right. you're gonna say, I'm, I'm, a, I'm an artist. Let, let me do the artistic mm -hmm. stuff. Okay, well that's what we do as adults. So we wanna make the children you know, understand the same thing. Everybody has special talents. Well, what are you gonna do? What do you wanna do? Right. And mm -hmm. if you have four people in a group that you know, where they, they're not real um, experienced in math, well then, can we all work on this together? together Absolutely. To make it work. But Tina, mm -hmm. thank you so much for, for explaining thank you. all that. Good information. Uh, excellent thank stuff. You. Thank you. All right. all right. Well, and if one of these fields isn't for you, why not explore your other options? It's easy to do with help from the Job Center at Delaware Libraries. Up next, we'll show you how to get started no matter what your age. And a little bit later on, a seafood lover's delight. We're going to be in the kitchen taking a couple of flavors of the sea and putting them together into one tasty dish. Delmarva Life, life at its best here on Delmarva.